Well, good afternoon, campers. It's the uh, 16th of February. I'm just outside the nest. I'm sorting out. I've been with our Peter and we've uh, fixed my drawers. My drawers, um, one of the runners broke. So we've revamped all that. So as you can see, they're opening, closing and locking and doing what they've got to do. You know, oh, sorry, just a little crap in them. I'll wipe them out, tidy them up. A lot of it is because I've got all this screws and bolts and nuts all crammed in them, and that's the bloody that's half the problem. Anyway, not a lot's happening. Peter and Laura and the two kids come over to lunch. My son Davy come down to lunch. We had lunch. Lovely, 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 lovely. Um, got to get my white van so that Steve and Angel could pick that up. I got to get that. Um, well, I mean, they didn't want it to end the month, so we've got plenty of time. Well, I need to go for an MO2. I'm going to try and get that in for next week, but they're chocker block. Where they are. Um, yeah, so it needs MOT in. Um, but I think uh, Peter will pick that up Monday or Tuesday and take it to work and then bring it back. Or I'll take it down. It makes no odds to me. Um, yeah, so it'll be uh, all sorted out. Um, I was going to say, I was going to say something then. No, I won't because I forgot. Yeah, I so said the wind has uh, dropped down here and it's still, it's... Oh yeah, it stopped raining. I've been wandering back because in my other, my other van, well, in my other van, it's Buddy Stephen Angel's van now. That's parked over there and I've been walking backwards and forwards getting my... Because it's been, because the weather's been bad, I haven't had time to empty it all out, all my screws and all my bits and pieces of me. We work box and that wasn't it because that's the thing you see if you've got two vans you need two bloody work boxes so um yeah so anyway i've done done that and uh getting it all out and get it all over here get it in the box get it in get it done that drawer won't open no more so that's all been repaired that, that, i mean that drawer won't open on its own anymore so that's all done um not much more to say really um to make me laugh with these fucking Uh, things I don't know what camper van camper van summer on I don't know I think it might be the one that Mooney's an administrator of I mean because she's got a bit delicate lately um yeah and I mean when they when they take a post down they don't tell you they took it down they take it down they just take it down I've heard other people complain about that I mean my post are throwaway posts I mean I'd make a post and um, I don't go back and look at it and see who's comment on the album because it's just what I want to say at the time but yeah, um, yeah, but that's uh, about the size of it really, I've got nothing, nothing more to say, but you know, I mean, apparently when you make a statement or you put a post up, you can stop people commenting on it. So if people don't want a comment, why do they leave the comments open? It doesn't say have a comment that you like, it just says comment. And if it's a flippant comment, or a, as they just say, a nasty comment, which was usually slightly objectionable, because, I mean, they use the word nasty and hate, you know, fucking willy-nilly, don't they? And um, everybody's a fucking snowflake nowadays, isn't they? You can't say nothing to anybody, they get all, up, they get all upset. Oh, you've offended me. Well, be offended. You know, I mean, my skin's thicker than that. I mean, being offended on Facebook is like seeing dog shit in the road and choosing to step in it, isn't it? And you could walk around it. I mean, yeah. But, um, but you get little comments like some plum on there said, um, instead of making comments on here, why don't you go back and run your YouTube channel? Well, my YouTube channel, as you know, Chalky, Chalky's um, Travelling Chalks World. Well, any comments on there, they're on there, I answer them. On Facebook, any comments on there, which is Travelling Chalk, on there. But I mean, I've said to people on my Facebook, and it stops all this bickering, in mid and whinging in management, or fucking admin, whatever you fucking call them. There's me and Ben are management, me and Ben are, are um, administrators on there. And if somebody says something, or complains to admin, then we immediately make the question, we immediately make it public. 
and then everybody knows which is a wit whining, whinging bastard. You know, like I say, if you don't like it, fucking leave. You know, I don't do it to make money. I don't do it to for any other reason. But I just do it because I do it every day because it's something I can look back on and then I quite like it when it says, oh, last year you've done this and the year before you've done that and, and what have you. You know, and my grandchildren and great-grandchildren and grand sorry, grandchildren and great nephews and my nephews and nieces and whatever, they can all look at it and just see what grandpa's up to today or Uncle Chalk's up to today. So it's not, what do you call it? But people make, you know, it's just sort of like, Stupid comments like, you know, I went to Wales. Have you taken your passport? Ha 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 ha. I need to die fucking laughing. I'll tell you what, I laugh that much, I nearly had any fags round. Yeah, but it's, um, it's just silly, isn't it? I don't understand it. Well, I think what I've decided to do with this van anyway, I think I've decided to revamp this. I mean, it's only seven. I'm on 27, 2011. It's only nine, just, yeah, just coming up to eight years. Just coming up to eight years, just eight years old. So I might actually revamp it. I've done all the interior the other week, the other last year. But I might go for something else. Um, what I'm thinking about doing, because I took the covers off the front and I got the seats, so the seats are grey. I may, if I can get some of this material, I don't know if you could help me out, I might actually do something bloody useful on there instead of moaning. Where I could get some of this material from, it's a Peugeot thing. And then I'll get those seats covered so it matches the other way around. But whether that'll happen or whether it won't, I don't know. Anyway, I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stop fucking moaning. Stop grizzling. Smile. Cheer up. Because what says on Facebook ain't real. It's not real. Because don't you get all upset. Oh, so-and-so's upset me. Ooh, you know what I mean? And run around like a load of bunch of tarts. Anyway, hmm. In, uh, in a lot of times I make a comment, and I don't make it because I mean it, I make it for effect. You know, just to think, I think to myself, I'll say that and watch them go. And they do, they can't help it. And when you get on there and you look at them, a lot of the people that are on there, you can't identify them because they've got a stupid picture of their dog, or they've got some picture on there, and there's no pictures of them and that. And they just sit back, I reckon, in their little sad little life, in the corner of their cupboard, wherever they're fucking kept. And go, mm, I don't like that. Mm, I don't like that. Let me press that button. Mm, I don't like that. You know, well, I don't really want to offend anybody, but if I do, I apologise. And if you don't like it, I don't care. All I can do is apologise. But, you know, because I wouldn't offend anybody on purpose. It's usually just my weird sense of humour. But um, there you go. Anyway, speak to you later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting. And put the kettle on.